So let's take a look at creating a whole page from start to finish. We're going to add a title. We're going to add text that includes an embedded picture. We're going to add some buttons which include links to um, URLs as well as links to files. We're going to use PDFs. We're going to do a slideshow and we can set this on automatic or we can set it manually and do an embed. So where do we begin? So first go ahead and log into your Weebly. Find your site. If you have multiple sites, pull down to the site that you want to edit. And then go ahead and click on edit. So then you're going to click on pages and we're going to click the plus sign and we're going to choose standard page. Now if you don't know what you want to name the page you can just leave it new page but I'm going to put fake for now so that I know that this is just my sample page or sample or something like that and then click done. Once this page pops up I'll say whoa this has a huge header and I just don't even want that header. So I can click on here and replace the header or I can come over to fake and say no header. So I'll click replace and I'm going to delete that header layout and I could choose another one but in this case I don't even want one. I'm going to click on fake and where it says header I'm going to pull down to no header. And now I'm just going to drag my elements here. I have to go up to build up at the top here and then I'm going to pull my title down and I can do these one by one but I'm going to organize it all at once then I'm going to pull the text down then I'm going to pull my um, slideshow over and I could pick out my slideshow elements then I'm going to pull a couple of buttons over And we can rearrange these all later so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to pull this over so that they're side by side. So I have to wait for the blue line to be up and down. And again, if your button accidentally went underneath or something, no problems. Grab hold of this little grabber hand and just pull it back up until it's side by side. Okay, so here's my title and I'll just say welcome to journalism class. If I wanted to change this to a different color or something, I do have that option. I can't change the font though because that's underneath theme. And I don't want to make these gigantic sizes or anything, then it kind of looks like a middle schooler did it. Now my text, I want to be embedded. First off, I want it underneath here and I want an image embedded in so I'm going to grab my image and put it over the top of my text. Now this has to be text not title and when I see the square I let go. If I let go here then the picture is going to be underneath my text but I can always drag it back on until I see that square. So I'm just going to grab some text here and paste it in. And that's a good idea too is to find your text, get your text um, from Microsoft Word where you have a really good editor. And I'm going to put that um, over to the side and then here's my image. I'm going to click on here and I can upload an image or I could search for an image. So I'll go ahead and upload an image uh, from my computer. And if I were doing it of me. I would go find a picture of me to upload. And now my picture's uploaded. Notice that it went really big. Well I can come down here to the bottom and resize this picture and um, we are going to edit the picture. So I'm going to click on the picture and click on edit image. And here I can crop the image by dragging in and around. I can say I want it square, 
I can do all kinds of things here and then I can pull this down. I can, when I'm done, click the back button. I can adjust for saturation, contrast, pull these sliders over, brighten it up a bit if I want. Lots of different things that I can do. Always hit the back button and when I'm finished, click save. I can even put text over the top. I'm also going to click on here because I want to be kind to the blind. I want to put some alt text in. And to do that, I need to scroll down to advanced and under alt text instead of picture because the blind reader would say, there's a picture on the page of a picture. Well, that's not what I want. There's a picture on the page of Mrs. K with her husband on a mountaintop. Okay, that's what I want it to say. And that's what the readers, the JAWS readers for the blind would then say. I also might want to put a caption on, so go ahead and put a caption. And the blind readers will also put the caption on. And that's how that will look. Now I want this over on the right hand side. So I'm going to click here and look at the alignment. There it is on the right. And I can adjust my spacing. So I want space underneath and over on the left hand side. I don't need any space on the top or the right. So here I'm going to get rid of the spacing on the right. I'm going to add it on the left, leave it on the bottom and get rid of it on the top. And it hugs the top then. So there's my picture. I could also put a border on the picture if I wanted. Alright, my buttons. Now I'm going to deal with them. I want my buttons side by side rather than across. And notice that I can adjust this. Hold the shift key down and you'll notice down here in the corner it even reminds you to hold the shift key so that you can adjust Adjust your margins smoothly. And for my button, I'm going to click here and we're going to put a button that goes to an external website. I'll just pick this one. So I need to copy that website and then where it says link, that's where I'm going to paste that URL. You don't want to type it because you need to make sure that everything is exactly correct for it to work. And then for the text, I will put in here a weather gadget or gadget or widget. Okay, then I just click outside and now this has a link on here. If someone clicks on this, it will take them to the weather gadget. Now I also want one that would have my class rules that would be saved as a PDF. I don't want Microsoft Word or other thing that won't open up on some devices, a PDF will upload to everything. So this time for the link, I'm going to link to a file. And I need to go upload a PDF from my computer. So I need to go find my class rules or my assignments or whatever it is that um, I want to Um, attached to that button. Now these buttons don't work unless I publish and we'll test them all later. Okay, so now I've got this. My last thing that I'm going to do is put in a slideshow. And I want my slideshow to um, to have thumbnails at the bottom and I'll click continue. And then I'm going to add photos and I'm going to get at least four photos from somewhere. So go to my pictures and find a couple pictures and click open. And then these pictures are going to upload. I can drag them drag and drop them in a different order if I want and I can add my captions and this is again very important for um, the blind or people with vision disabilities. So make sure you add your captions. You can add hyperlinks, you can put text over the top, or you could trash it. And then when I'm done, I'm going to click Save. I'm going to click on this again because I can pick my transition style 
and I might want this to autoplay. So I'm going to do that. Now I want my buttons up above up above this. I would like this to go along the bottom here if I can. And again, I'm just dragging and dropping to rearrange things the way that I would like them to be. So you can decide how, how you would like, where you would like this, um, etc. I could put it in the middle of these two if I wanted, or I could put it up above or down below any one of these. So there's just so many different ways that you can rearrange all of these elements. And so you can just play around with dragging and dropping and find the way that you would like them to look. Once you're happy, you want to click Publish. Then you click here and you can test to make sure that your links work. And that was actually the fake page. I have to go to the page that I want and I'll check to make sure that my buttons work. Yes, that brought up the PDF. Yes, this goes to the weather widget page. And I'm going to show you one last thing, how to make a link off text. So if you want a link, for example, a link to Glacier, in the text. You're going to click on the linking tool, website URL, and again you're going to go to Glacier, find Glacier Park, site that you want. And paste this URL. right here. Click outside somewhere and now there's a hyperlink and it will take you. If you don't like the color of your hyperlink again go to theme and change your fonts. Okay another thing I'd like you to do is add one two more pages. One okay and click back. You're going to do an external page and you're going to put the GFPS and you're going to paste the URL for GFPS and then click done for that page. And lastly, I would like to make sure that you have a contact page on here and also a blog page. So you click the plus sign, you'll choose blog page and you can call it news or something else like that or projects or lesson plans. And on this page again, you could change your header if you want to no header and then you're going to click new post and create a post. If you have a header you have to scroll down and you're going to do the same thing. You can put titles in here and at least put some text and maybe a picture. And post the post when you're done. So I'm going to see a contact page. I am going to see your fake page and everything else. Let's say that you wanted this fake page to actually be your page now. And notice that you can pull down here and say discard the draft if you want when you're done. Um, let's say that you really did a nice job on this fake page and you want it to be your home page now. So you will want to change this to a different name because you can't have two with exactly the same name. Oops, I just kicked myself out. 
And um, 